hello everyone and welcome to Icon of the Seas. This ship is something out of my dreams. I can't even imagine the ship could actually exist. I've been on the ship now for six days and you know what that means? It is time for Steph's Best Bits. We're going to take you from top to bottom and I'm going to show you everything that I think you should not miss if you are on Icon of the Seas. Now, there are a lot of people that do ship tours and there are some great ship tours out there. I'm gonna to add to that and I'm gonna show you all the things that you shouldn't miss in all of those venues, right? So what happens in those venues? What do you do? What music is playing? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you deck by deck and I'm going to chapter all of these. So think of this as your handy dandy Steph field guide to icon of the sea. So if you're on deck five, what should you see on deck five? If you're on deck 16, what should you see on deck 16? So let's get started. We're going to start right where I am right now. This is deck five. This is the Royal Promenade. We're gonna start here and we're gonna work all the way to the top. Are you ready? The ship. Wow. And of course, we're gonna start here on deck five in the promenade and you cannot miss this feature. I am standing in front of the Pearl. This is this big structure right here. It is the centerpiece of the Royal Promenade. Do not miss this. You can come over here, get your pictures taken. It's beautiful. And every night it seems to change colors based on what the theme is of the night. So like last night was white night. It was really colorful one night, but you can also stand inside of here. And it's like this amazing sensory experience all of these tiles are like individual robots. Very, very cool. Don't just pass this by. You have to stop in the Pearl and experience it. Come inside of it, enjoy it, don't miss it. Another place on deck five that I wanted to mention is the 1400 bar. It is directly across from the Pearl and it is absolutely beautiful. Again, ocean views as far as you can see. Absolutely spectacular views. They have a drink here called the 1400. That's really easy to remember because it is the same name as the bar. It is a really fun drink. Drink. I'll let Steph tell you about it. Take it away, Steph. It tastes like a margarita without ice. So like a margarita martini, I would say. All the sours, but very, very delicious. You gotta try it, right? Don't miss this spectacular views. I love this area. Again, it's right across from the Pearl. You will not miss it. We are still on deck five. And another place you should not miss is the Spotlight Karaoke Venue. Now, this is not a new venue for Royal Caribbean. This is found on other ships, but this is always a good time. You go up there, grab the mic, sing your heart out. Why not? You're on a cruise. You might as well enjoy yourself. There are plenty of things. There's family karaoke. It's just an amazing time. Have fun, enjoy it. And this venue is amazing. Like it's so pretty. I love what they've done to this space. It's elegant yet fun at the same time. Don't miss this, deck five. So those are the not to be missed things here on deck five. But I also wanna do this little best bits a little different than I usually do because Icon is, of course, it's an unbelievable ship, but there are some things that I feel maybe are a little bit strange and I'm gonna talk about those as well. So I just wanna point them out so that you're ready for this ship and it's no surprises. So one thing I'd like to talk about is Sorrento's. So Sorrento's is the complimentary pizza on board and it is a lovely space. It is. It looks like it's very large, but I've seen it on different nights during the cruise and it does get very busy. So keep that in mind. If you are looking for pizza, there is a possibility that you may not find a seat because this ship does hold a lot of people. I expected it to be a little bit larger. That goes also for the Point and Feather bar as well. I love listening to the live music on Royal Caribbean. It's fabulous, but this is a small venue. So if you want to come here and listen to the live, you know, they have live guitarists, live music, get here early. And you're gonna probably hear me say that a lot on this tour, get there early. <laughs> because there's a lot of people on the ship and you don't want to miss anything. So let's keep going on. We're going to head to deck six next. We are on deck six now and I'm going to start off by saying this is an honorable mention thing. This isn't really a venue. This is all of the ocean views that you can see throughout the Royal Promenade. Something brand new for a royal ship that has the Royal Promenade. It's amazing. You can see ocean from Boleros. You can see the ocean in the schooner bar. You can see ocean in Giovanni's. There's ocean views everywhere. This ship connects you with the ocean. You do not feel like you're in a mall any longer. You are truly sailing and you feel it and you see it all the time and I love it. I feel like I'm on the ocean. It's great. Now we are currently walking to my favorite, absolute favorite place on deck six. 
six. This is right above the Pearl and it is called the Pearl Cafe and it is absolutely spectacular. It's a great place to grab a coffee in the morning. You can also grab some snacks. They have croissants, danishes, and then it changes over to lunchtime snacks with sandwiches and salads, grab and go stuff. I love this area. It's so pretty and open. And again, you can see the ocean and a lot of it. Now as we're walking to the end of this amazing space on deck six, I do want to point out some things that I think are a little bit odd. First of all, space again, everything is very, very small. The promenade is very wide in, on the ship. I feel like it's wider than the Oasis class ships. If they could have moved the venues out just a little bit more, it would have given a lot more space. Again, this ship holds a lot of people and we are currently sailing at an 80% capacity. When this ship is full, it's going to feel full in this promenade. So keep that in mind. If you want to get to a space, just get there early. Again, you're going to hear me say that a lot. You're going to hear me say, get there early, get there early, get there early. If you want to see it, get there early. If you want to sit in the back, that's fine. Vacation how you vacation. But if you would like a good seat, make sure you arrive early. I did also want to mention, even though I think you need to arrive early to get a seat in most venues, if you want an actual seat, there are no lines so far on the ship. I wanted to point that out. Everything is running really smoothly. The crew have been fantastic. Like at the Pearl Cafe, for example, I haven't waited in line, but maybe five minutes for a coffee, which that is faster than any Starbucks I've ever been to usually, which is really, really nice. So I'm not saying that the ship feels crowded. I'm saying that venues fill up fast. So if you want a seat in a venue, get there early so that you have a seat. If not, you can stand in the back and enjoy. Come and go as you please. That's really nice about this ship as well. There's so much going on that you can stop in the back, watch some piano bar, and then keep going on to the next thing. Now add this to your list of deck six things not to be missed. This is the dueling piano bar. This is the first dueling piano bar for Royal Caribbean at sea. It is a great venue. Do not miss this. Come early if you want to get a seat here. I've been at the back. It's still a great time. It's piano players are unbelievable. I've enjoyed Hell at the Moon on Norwegian and I absolutely love this concept. I love dueling pianos. Come over here, put this on your list. Do not miss dueling pianos on deck six. Another do not miss spot on deck six is going to be the attic. Now on Oasis class ships, this is on the bottom deck on deck four. And I always miss this venue, Sean. I've always missed this, but I love how centralized the attic is. And this is an absolute gorgeous space. It reminds me of the Cavern Club on Norwegian Cruise Line. It's beautiful. I love that it's here. Check your times, guys. You can reserve these. There is a family-friendly one, and there's also an 18-plus one. So fun. Do not miss it. The entertainment on this ship is outstanding. So I am currently standing in Giovanni's, and you've seen me eat at Giovanni's. It is fantastic Italian. Now, I will say, Giovanni's is part of the Royal Promenade now, so it does get a little bit loud in here, and I wanted to point this out. If you are going to have a reservation here, my personal preference would be to have an earlier dinner before all of this stuff happens like at Bolero's and the shows happen on the floor. So keep that in mind when you're booking your reservation. Check your times guide to see if there's like maybe that there's a parade in the promenade. All those things are going to be very loud in here. If those things don't bother you, then book a time whenever you want. But I personally would like to book an earlier time for this restaurant just because of the noise level because I feel like Italian is more of an intimate experience and I want to be able to sit and enjoy and talk with my friends and family and not be interrupted by loud music. Again, that's just me personally, but I did want to point it out to you. Now, I don't, want it, I don't want it to seem like I am saying a lot of negative stuff about the ship because I am definitely not. This ship is unbelievable and it is my favorite Royal Caribbean ship to date. I love it so much. The ocean views, the venues, they are fantastic. I'm just giving you some tips and pointers to help you make your vacation be a little bit smoother when you sail on Icon of the Seas. Are you still following along with this ship? We're still on deck six. And another thing that you should not miss on deck six is going to be the absolute zero venue. This is going to be the ice skating on board. The ice show is chef's kiss amazing it may be my favorite ice show to date again the theater show wizard of oz is my favorite royal production to date this is probably my favorite ice show as well it is wonderful the skating is great check your app for that check all the times book your reservation they also have a day show as well on day six which is today we're going to see it today it is a fairy tale show so the night show the absolute zero main show is all about i'll let you come see it you have to experience it to understand it but then the other show the day show is going to be about fairy tales so i'm really excited to see that today and add that to the list of amazing entertainment that royal caribbean offers. Now another thing you will find here is you will find laser tag. This is new laser tag for Royal Caribbean. It is the Rise of Poseidon. Very very cool. It looks so much fun. I didn't get to squeeze that in on this trip. Like, there's so much to do. You cannot do it all which just means you have to come back right? Of course. And that is the sign of a fantastic vacation when there's things left to do. I like to come back and do it again.
I'm leaving the Absolute Zero entrance right here behind me and I'm walking into Playmakers. That's right, Absolute Zero's entrance is through Playmakers. It's a very strange thing, but I always love to give Playmakers an, an honorable mention because this has a lot of memories for Sean and I. This is our traditional last meal on the Royal Caribbean ship that has Playmakers. It is not a new venue for Royal Caribbean. It is something that I love. I also forgot to mention inside Playmakers, you'll find all the games and you have the TVs and you can watch all of your sports that you like, but they also have complimentary Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Come over here, chomp some pellets, jump some barrels. Why not? You're on a vacation, enjoy. I love that these are complimentary. I've been over here. I'm not a great Pac-Man player, but I did try my best. <laughs> So I came down to deck four really fast because I totally forgot about this venue. That is a must do. You must come here. This is the Royal Theater. And if you thought entertainment on Royal Caribbean was good before, wait until you see it now. Honestly, wait until you see it now. They're showing Wizard of Oz on the ship and it is mind blowingly phenomenal. They have a 16 piece live orchestra. They have a huge cast. I feel like there were like a million of them. Fantastic singers, fantastic dancers, the effects, the staging. This show is Broadway level and it is my favorite Royal Caribbean show to date. I want to go see it every night, but there's so many other shows to see. Do not miss this one. Put it on your calendar, mark it, make a reservation, get here. Just, just do it, just do it. Seriously, do not miss it. Also on deck four, you will find the music hall. This is right behind the Royal Theater and right next to the casino. This music hall is beautiful. I love this space. It's so good. There was a live band in here called Phoenix the first couple nights and they were fabulous. Where I was saying the venues on the Royal Promenade are smaller, this is a great size venue. The same with the Royal Theater. It is huge. Lots of space for you to enjoy all of the entertainment on board. We are now on deck seven and on deck seven you will find the Surfside neighborhood. This is going to be the kids zone on Icon of the Seas. This area is really cute. Of course you'll have the carousel. You have the arcade, you have Sugar Beach. I stopped in there the other night, check this out. I wish I could send all of this sugar smell to you. It's the most heavenly. Like I wanna put my bed in here so I can sleep in this smell. <laughs> like I love it so much. They have cotton candy machine in here. All the candy that you could possibly want. I mean, look at all these colors. Don't miss this. This is Surfside. <laughs> You also have the Surfside Eatery, which is a buffet designed for kids, but really for all ages. I love the food here. And there's a water park area here for kids, which is really nice. But I am walking to the, my favorite spot on this area. Do not miss this. Even if you do not have kids, you need to come here. Let's keep walking. I'm going to show you what it is. Okay. Now I spin around here behind me. You will see all of these lemons hanging. I am standing in the Lemon Post Bar. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite bar on board because it has my favorite drink that I've found so far. Now they have both non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks here. My favorite are the non-alcoholic lemonade drinks. They come in a pouch, which is Steph spill proof. I love that. The flavors are great. Had the Blue Ocean, which is blue raspberry lemonade. I had the Pink Mermaid, which is dragon fruit lemonade. They come with candy inside. They absolutely are perfect for me. And they are the perfect sugar rush if you're looking for that. I love this area. Now, again, it is a kid's area. So if you don't like kids, don't come back here. Actually, if you don't like kids, don't come on the ship. That would probably not be a good ship for you. But this area is great. I love the aft of this. So behind the Lemon Post Bar, there is seating here. You get to look out the back of the ship. It is wonderful. I sat out here during a port day and it was, oh, it was heavenly. I could watch all of the people getting off the ship and just relax. There's a breeze. And of course, there are more ocean views here. If you remember the Oasis class ship, there used to be a big theater. This was the Aqua Theater. And there used to be a big cover here for the actual show. Now it is wide open and it is a great place for your little ones to play in the water. You can relax, grab yourself a lemonade here at the Lemon Post Bar or make it an adult drink if you'd like and just enjoy. Enjoy your day. Now here was a surprise for me and something that I recommend everybody checking out in the surf neighborhood you will find Pier 7. This is a brand new specialty restaurant on board Icon of the Seas. I tried it out. It is amazing. I have a full review of the dining that I tried on this ship in another video so check the link down below if you are interested in that. Pier 7 is fantastic. I was really surprised. I actually didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. The food is fresh. It took me back to my California days. The food was excellent. I cannot oh my gosh we had so much food. It's shareable. Anyway check out the review but do 
not miss Pier 7. You don't have to make a reservation to come here. It's a do not miss spot. So I decided to take a break because this ship is so large. I had to stop for breakfast. This is an honorable mention for me. Again, this is the Surfside Eatery. It is the, I say, quote, kids buffet on board, but it is for all ages. I absolutely love it. And I love the plate in here. I've mentioned this before on the dining review. I don't like my food to touch and I get syrup and syrup touching anything else is just like, ugh, it's so yucky, but this is the best. So come in here if you're like me and you don't want your food to touch and grab one of these pink plates. Now that was the Surfside area that is on deck seven. Now, unlike the Oasis class ships, I am now on deck eight, that's Surfside behind me. And we are going to walk across to Central Park. Absolutely mind blowing. This is now connected. I love it so much. So let's check out Central Park on deck eight. I'm gonna show you a few things that I think you should not miss in this area. I am standing in Central Park and it's so beautiful. Central Park has grown on me a little bit. I will say the colors in here were a little bit much when I first got on board. I really like the feel of the Central Park on the Oasis class ships. This is more vibrant and lively. Despite that, I really love it now. Like I've been out here at night. I love the nighttime feel. It's absolutely great. So out here in Central Park, one thing you do not want to miss, it's brand new. It's called Jazz Lose and Blues Club. It is wonderful place to come and experience live music here in Central Park. Come here at night. The, first of all, the ambiance in Central Park is beautiful at night. If that's one thing, hands down. It is the same way on Oasis class. And then you add this fantastic live music venue and it's like chef's kiss. Mwah. One other thing in here that I want to show you, so let's go. My second not to be missed thing in Central Park is Park Cafe. Now again, this is on Oasis class ships and I loved it on Oasis and I absolutely love it on Icon. It's a great place to come and grab some food. They have breakfast and lunch options here. The perfect grab and go location. It's always fast. There's never a line in here so far that I've seen. They have fruits, they have sandwiches. So definitely stop in here. Also, it's a beautiful location. I love sitting outside and I'm not sure if it's the new design of the ship or if there's something different, but it's always a lot breezier in Central Park now. We are at sea today and it, like you can see my hair's blowing. It feels breezier for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, <laughs> which I am a little, that's fine, but it does feel a lot breezier so I love it. You can actually sit outside now and enjoy. Central Parks on Oasis classes for me are a little bit warm, a little bit hot. So there you go. There's an option. So that's Central Park. Two things you should not miss. Lose Blues, Jazz, Lose, Jazz and Blues and Park Cafe. Let's keep moving on. So those are the two things you should not miss on Central Park. Of course you will find Azumi is now here. It's called Azumi in the Park. Great thing you shouldn't miss. The trellis bars here. There's also beautiful things here at night. There's plants and lighting and sculptures. Don't miss any of that. Come walk through here. I know you will. And there's, oh, and Chop's Grill. I'm walking by that now. There's so much here. Come and enjoy. Now we're going to head up to deck 12 next. But before we do that, I want to talk about the new elevators that are here on Icon of the Seas. And I absolutely love them. I know this isn't really a venue that you do not miss, but it's an honorable mention for me because these elevators are fantastic. Now I'm sitting in the elevator bank right now. What you do, you actually go to a computer pad and pick your deck before you get on to the elevator. So there are no numbers inside of the elevator. You do that before you get on, you choose your deck. It's going to tell you a letter to go to. It's A through J. So there are a ton of elevators. They are huge, lots of space for a lot of people. I haven't waited, but maybe a minute or so for every elevator. They're always coming. They're constantly moving. I love this smart technology. They do have these same elevators on MSC and Carnival, and I think they work the best on this ship. So whatever new technology they put on Icon, it's an A plus for me. So let's go ahead and pick our deck and head to deck 12. So we are on deck 14 now. I thought this was on deck 12, but the main entrance to this, which is the Vitality Cafe, is on deck 14. This is where you will find your juice bar. So you can come over here, get a smoothie, get a fresh squeezed anything, all the fruit that you could want to get. So fill up all of those uh, good juices inside of you. Come over here. I love getting a fresh orange juice here. Now I'm on the refreshment package, so that does count here. You can use that, but you can also do a la carte. And if you have the ultimate drink package, of course, you can get anything basically on the ship. Not everything, but you know what I mean. So definitely don't miss, don't miss this. Definitely check it out. It is on deck 14. We are now on deck 15, right above the spa actually. And this is a do not miss spot. I know you will not because it is amazing, but it is the Aqua Dome. It is the very front of the ship. It's, you can see it from when you board the ship. This space is spectacular. Spectacular. 
spectacular. So first, do not miss Aqua Action, which is the dive show here on Icon of the Seas. It will blow your mind. They have projections, they have effects, they have aerialists, of course they have the divers, they have dancers, they have synchronized swimmers, fountains. It is unbelievable. It's, un oh, and robots, robots. I mean, what? Don't miss this. Check your app for all of the shows that are going on here. Now, saying this, this venue is small. We've been talking about things that I have found to be a little bit of a miss on this ship. This is one of the things that I think is going to have the most issues when this ship is at full capacity. This venue is small. When this ship is at full capacity, I think it's going to be very hard to get in here. I'm gonna say that now. So I hope they have a lot of shows planned. They probably do. If you have an Aqua Show book, make sure you get here early. Now, I would recommend coming about 30 minutes early. You should have no problem finding a seat. That's not really a big deal. You can grab a cocktail, come and have a seat and enjoy. Now also, along the very top of the theater, there are comfier seats with cushions. Those do not require a reservation. We sat in these seats right here and it is a fantastic seat. I recommend it. Now I was here probably two hours early only because I was working and didn't. I had some time to kill. So keep that in mind. If you want these seats, you may have to get here a little bit earlier than 30 minutes, but they're really great seats. Definitely recommend them. Great Great views of everything and wow, do not miss this. It is something out of your dreams. We are now entering my absolute favorite spot on this ship. It, when people ask me, what is your favorite thing? This is my favorite thing. This is the Overlook. It is behind the Aqua Theater. It is part of the Aqua Dome and I absolutely love it. And I swear, do not miss this one. If you miss this, which I don't think you will, but you will be very disappointed. Seriously, the Overlook is a fantastic spot. Now it is at the front of the ship. So you have this amazing view and check out these windows. These are floor to ceiling, 180. 80 degree glass windows of the ocean. It is absolutely stunning in here. There are also on the one side of the overlook, you'll find pods that are so cool. They have power. They have the air conditioning blowing from the bottom. Now these do get taken very easily, but you can always ask if you can share as well. They're very large, or if you have a very large party or a bunch of friends and family, check these out. Don't miss that. It's such a great, great area. I love what they've done here. So let's keep walking through. I'm gonna show you some more of the overlook. Now I'm down at the bottom of the overlook and wow guys this space is just absolutely it blows my mind every time I'm in here I'm just like wow and I have to say I love the solarium on the Oasis class ships and I really thought I was going to miss it here because I like to sit in there and just relax and enjoy the, the view grab a cocktail but I never got in the pools in the solarium I just enjoyed the atmosphere and the vibe like the vibe of the whole area so this is like the perfect match for me they took away the pools they added in lots of seating and made this area so special and beautiful and it's very adult it's just absolutely wonderful to hang out in here you can grab a coffee at the Ryan Bean or grab a cocktail at the bar behind me and just enjoy and relax and read a book talk with your friends play some cards whatever you do on your cruise vacation you can do it here and relax we are still in the Aqua Dome because this, this is just, all of the Aqua Dome is a must do list on Icon of the Seas. Another place you do not want to miss is the Rye and Bean. If you like coffee, come here, get a coffee here. Of course, the Pearl Cafe as well. So split your cruise, get some coffees at Pearl Cafe, get some coffees here at Rye and Bean. They also have some cocktails here that are special here for the Rye and Bean. One of them is the Espresso Martini. If you like Espresso Martinis, gotta come here. They are specially made because they are infused with nitrogen i believe which makes them super creamy and then they put a foam on top that is absolutely to die for honestly this whole area is like I could just stay in here. I wish I could just live in this dome. We are leaving the Aqua Show, Aqua area, and we're coming into the Aqua Dome market. And this is a must do, in my opinion, must do. Now, I didn't actually have high expectations of this venue, but it is great. It is brand new for Icon of the Seas and for Royal Caribbean. And this is kind of like a food court, food stall idea. You find this on Virgin, you find this on Carnival and Norwegian. So great. They have a crepe station, a Asian station called Ginger. They have a mac and cheese station and they have a mediterranean station and a toast and garden station all serving very very fresh food my favorite is the asian i absolutely love it i could eat here every day i think i may have eaten here 
more than half of the cruise. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Check out all of these options. Do not miss it. It is right next to the Aqua Show, Aqua Theater, in the Aqua Dome on deck 15. I hope we're on deck 15. I think we're on deck 15. The ship is so big. So we just walked outside from the Aqua Dome and we are still on deck 15. And of course, here you will find two pools, including the largest pool at sea. Check out this pool. It is huge, absolutely huge. But my must see thing on this ship is all of the seating that is underneath deck 16. It is all covered. It's shaded. I love that. There's so much seating on this deck. If you don't want to be in the sun, but you still want to enjoy the outside and the fresh air and the sea and the ocean, come to deck 15. This is called Chill Island. You will not miss it because you have to walk through here. Usually most of the time if you're coming from deck 15 anyway. Wow, guys, this seating area is absolutely wonderful. Plenty of seating for a full capacity ship. It'll be great. I love this area. Deck 15, Chill Island. Another spot that I have to recommend on deck 15, which is kind of a little hidden, which is why I'm going to point it out to you, is Sprinkles. The location of Sprinkles is underneath this little overhang in the middle of deck 15. You will see a sign that says, you make me melt, which by the way is a great Instagram picture spot. Love the colors. But this is where you will find Sprinkles. Come over here, grab an ice cream, or it looks like they'll grab it for you, which is even better because I don't make good ice cream cones at all. So I just had to stop. I couldn't resist. So good. Don't miss this. Deck 15 in the middle. You, you, you might miss it, so look for it. I recommend it. Oof, it is windy today. Ooh so I want to say, if you can hear me on deck 15, I really love this new netted play area that they have here. This is brand new on Icon of the Seas. It's a great place to lay out during the day. It's kind of a fun area to play out. There are some swings and some climbing things. Check this out. It's really cool. We are at the back of deck 15 now, and place that I have to mention because it's absolutely amazing is the wind jammer. If you've been on a Royal Caribbean ship, you know what the wind jammer is. This is the buffet on board. This is your complimentary breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet. It is really great. I love this space. I've loved every meal that we've had in here. I've had breakfast, I've had lunch, and I've had dinner. Check out the dining review for those all those reviews. Love this space. Beautiful. It's open. There's a bar in the back, which is really nice. So yeah, don't miss this one for sure. We just left deck 15 which was the Chill Island. Now we are on deck 16 and this is Thrill Island. And when I mean Thrill Island, this is all the thrills and a do not miss spot from me. These are where you will find all of your water slides and I'll let Wet Steph tell you how that went. Wet Steph, take it away. As you can see, I am dry. We're gonna try the drop slide first because it's the most intense. So I will give you a review after. You cannot bring cameras on these slides and you don't need them because you're here to have fun, right? So let's go try. Wet Steph will be right back to tell you how it is. Wow, that drop is intense. <laughs> it's not like a big drop, like far, but it, it was it was intense. So much fun. I will say you have to take off. If you wear a swim shirt, you have to hold it. You can hear like the adrenaline in my face. In my <laughs> wow, I can't wait to try the rest of them. Woo, just did the storm racers. Do you have a mat for that one? <laughs> so much fun. The ending will get you, so hold your breath at the end. So neat, so cool. I mean, you have to come on Icon to try these slides. Amazing. I'm going again. What? What just happened? <laughs> these are water slides on a ship. We did them all. Uh, my mind is blown. I feel like we were just at a right, real water park. I have never had that feeling on a ship. I've been on many different water slides with different lines. This by far blows them all out of the water, so to speak. <laughs> Seriously. My absolute favorite is the yellow drop slide. It is the steepest open drop slide at sea and it lives up to the hype. It was so good. Second favorite was the green family raft ride. There are two family raft rides. The green one is the faster one. The purple one's a little bit slower. So if you're looking for that, check out the weight requirements as well. There are two weight requirements for those. The drop slide, the raft slides. Guys, water park on a cruise ship. Unbelievable. Un Unbelievable. This area, I spent like two and a half hours here and wow, it was so much fun. I loved it. Fun for kids, fun for the adults and everyone in between. Just wow. All the wows. Another not to be missed thing here at Thrill Island is the mini golf course. It is nautical themed. There's a ship, there's some buoys. It's a nine hole golf course and it looks even better at night. Come over here and enjoy. Now as I'm walking through Thrill Island, there are other things here as well like Flow Rider that you shouldn't miss, the rock climbing wall that you shouldn't miss. 
end. Let's go over because there's something brand new on the ship called the Crown's Edge. Let's go check it out. Now, all of that Thrill Island fun has led us to the ultimate adult-only oasis called the Hideaway here on Icon of the Seas. This is a place for 18 and over, and it is absolutely heavenly. First, let's check out this pool. It's an infinity pool that overlooks the aft of the ship, which is absolutely spectacular. Now, it is a little bit small on the smaller side, but it's a perfect way to cool off and enjoy your sea days. There's also plenty of seating over here on the side. There are some reserved day beds at the very front, which are really nice. And there is even a bar over here too, so you really can spend the entire day here and never leave. I love all of the seating by the bar. I just really love this area. Now, I will say, since we've been talking about things, I think on a full capacity ship, this area is going to get very busy. So if you want a chair, I would get here early. I do not condone saving chairs. So if you get here, stay in your chair and use it. If you don't need to use it, let somebody else use it so they can enjoy the sun and this area as well. But yeah, you're gonna have to get out here early if you wanna get a good spot, but it is absolutely beautiful. Also forgot to mention, for, totally forgot, slipped my mind, there are two huge hot tubs here in the hideaway as well. So not only do you have an infinity pool looking over the aft, but two big hot tubs, perfect for your enjoyment, especially on a nice sea day like today. I am right past Thrill Island. I'm still on deck 16, and I have to point this out because I haven't seen this on a Royal Caribbean ship before. This is the Lime and Coconut Frozen Bar. Kind of reminds me of Fat Tuesdays, like something that you would find in Vegas. This is where you're going to find your frozen cocktails. They have a mango, a hurricane, strawberry, pina colada, peach. You don't want to miss this. Come over here, grab a frozen cocktail. They look delicious. I've been watching everybody get them. Wow. To go into the back of deck 16, this is something absolutely crazy. The very first swim up bar for a Royal Caribbean ship. It looks really fun. I have not been in here yet. When I was in my bathing suit, I was on the water slides and I was getting all the adrenaline. I should have come back here to grab a cocktail as after. That would have been really great. Don't miss this. Deck 16 all the way to the back. Now this is also a very, 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 let me emphasize, very popular venue during the day, especially on sea day. So if you are looking to get a chair, at the Swim and Tonic Swim Up Bar. Make sure you get here early to grab a seat. Now I don't condone saving seats. Enjoy while you're here and then take all of your stuff and, and leave it for the next person. Be nice and let everybody enjoy all of these amazing areas on this incredible ship. All right, if you are still with me, we have finally made it to the very top of Icon of the Seas. That is going to be Deck 17. And here you will find Cloud 17, which is a really, really pretty sun deck. Let's go check it out. So Cloud 17, is this really nice sun deck area with really nice loungers. There's a pool here, which is really cool. I think this is a really great spot not to be missed if you're looking for a place to get away from everything and kind of chill and relax. So definitely check out Cloud 17 at the very top of the ship on, guess what? Deck 7. That's it, guys. That's like kind of the seas. That's Steph's best bits. It's a lot, right? <laughs> this ship is huge and it's incredible. And I recommend you coming on this ship. Now, I recommend you coming on the ship if you like big ships. If if you don't like big ships, this is not the ship for you because it is massive. I do mean massive. And do not try to do every single thing on your trip because you will be exhausted. It's very much like a Disney vacation or a Universal Studios vacation. If you do it all, you're gonna come out tired. It's been so much. I still haven't seen it all or done everything and it's crazy. I really love this ship. It's absolutely incredible. The entertainment, the food, the venues. It's just been, oh, it's been such a fun time. It is definitely a vacation for families. Recommend it for families families. I also recommend it for adults too. I think anybody would have a great time on the ship. There is truly something for everyone. And with that, I got to keep seeing more stuff. There are still things I have not done or seen. So we're going to get going. Look, I can't even sit down to talk to you. I have to keep going. I'm still walking to the next thing. Thanks so much guys for watching. Thanks so much for all of your love and support. And make sure you like and subscribe because there are more videos for Icon coming. Make sure you hit those buttons. And uh, until next video, I'll see you later. Bye. Now I also want to, before, what am I trying to say? What am I trying? <gasps> Think of this. <laughs> now those are the venues that I are. <laughs> now since we were at the beginning. <laughs> Sorrento's is. Yeah. Right here, camera, focus. <laughs> It is possible that I will not get off of deck five. In the, the absolute zero space. By the way, these bloopers, 
Wow. <laughs> I'm so tongue-tied today. I think it's because of all the exhaustion from this humongous ship. The entertainment on this ship is un... The... <laughs> there was a lot of... And this is another... What am I trying to say? Full review of all the dining on... So I would just decide... <laughs> now there are stairs at the... Now that was the... Look at the camera, Steph. Not down here. <laughs> Good grief. But something new on this ship that is not part of, like... What am I trying to say? So those are the two things that you should... This is where you will find your juice... <laughs> you have aqua. <laughs> of course, here. <laughs> I am. Can't talk today. You can't talk. Blah, blah, blah. We're almost there. Almost there. Throws at the lime and frozen. <laughs> lime and frozen. <laughs> and have enjoyed the enjoy, enjoy the sea, not the ocean. It's a pool. I might get it right. Take seventy. We're getting there. This is deck 17. We are about to fresh. Will I be able to make it through a take without a blooper? Only time will tell. What?